Today, we're going to be surviving on a single chunk made of 100 unique layers. Following each successful day, we can break one layer down until we reach the 100th floor made of end portal frames. Can we survive to the Ender Dragon? Day one starts now. And we're in! Okay, so we have two pigs, a cow, sheep, and a villager. And then below us are literally 100 layers of different blocks. On day one, we're allowed to break the top layer, but we can't break our next layer until day two and then so on. But I know we can break anything above this level, so let's get ourselves a tree. So that's gonna be 20 oak planks. We can go ahead and get a crafting table. It dropped an apple. Okay, we have a source of food. As far as what we're gonna do today, we're actually like majorly limited. We can make sticks. It would make sense to, you know, pickaxe. We want to make a hoe because we can get... <gasps> you took my seeds! We need to find seeds. Yes, okay. We can do this and plant seeds, which is gonna be like the only way we can really get consistent food right now. We'll just get as many seeds as we can. We also got two saplings. That's huge. We'll just go ahead and plant them all. This is our food source. <laughs> Something I rarely do, but we'll make a wooden shovel. We can go ahead and plant these saplings. For now, we'll just get excavating. Well, there goes our shovel. I really don't think we can afford to use any more wood, so we'll have to do the rest by hand. Okay, well, that wasn't the most productive day, but uh, I feel like we've progressed. You know, the really sad thing about this is I literally can't even make torches tonight. Now, on the bright side, mobs won't spawn on the same chunk as me, so we should be fine. There's just not a whole lot we can do right now. I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good one or a bad one. We can start to fill this, and maybe eventually we'll get bone meal? But that's about everything, so for now, we're just gonna have to wait till morning. We're on to our next day, and we have a a farmer. I don't even know if this is going to help us, but he might start filling this up. Our crops are coming along somewhat, so that's progress. We can now dig out another layer. Stone will be tomorrow. Is he filling this up? Oh, <laughs> we've got another tree. Okay, this does open up the potential to do a little more. So we first need to see how many oak saplings we're going to get. Another apple. That is actually pretty significant. So there's a second sapling. We place this down, and then I'm pretty sure sure this will go towards oh it doesn't bone meal okay see oh oh okay i sorry i was crouching maybe we want to sacrifice a few few seeds for bone meal? Maybe we'll try an apple? Because if we can get bone meal, then we can make things grow faster, and then we can get wheat, and it'll, it'll just really help things move along. But it takes a lot of stuff, and, and we don't have a lot of stuff right now. We only have seven plants growing. I don't know if we can sacrifice anymore. This one is getting really close, but again, I think at this point, like, all we can really do is wait until we get onto stone. The game is really gonna open up, but man, this is a challenging start. So with that, we'll wait another night. Day three, we got some rain. Check this out. We have one piece of wheat and three seeds. But we are only one wheat away from being able to breed these sheep. More importantly, we now have access to stone. Coal is the next day. That'll be torches, which is pretty nice. We can actually get torches even before tomorrow as we can make one furnace and then use uh, an oak slab to cook up one of these oak logs. There's some charcoal. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we got four torches. And this will keep the light level up overnight so that these are actually gonna grow faster. We can also take this opportunity to get a stone pick. Yeah, we do want that. <laughs> I'm gonna make an ax, but more for like defensive purposes, just in case. Oh, actually that's, that's great timing. You no, I might not even use the durability on this. Let's just like, we got time right now. So we'll just mine this with our hands still. <laughs> We're just gonna have to pray for some good stuff. I think there's a sapling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be the only one. So we're gonna have to just replant that sadly. I guess we can also make a stone shovel. Guys, there is our second piece of wheat. We can plant that back. On day three, we have managed to breed. <laughs> Fantastic. Also got another tree. And while this is really sad, we're gonna have to go ahead and off this man. Thank you so much for your contribution to the video. We are one third of a way to a bed. 
<laughs> can also cook up some food. And that means we can contribute our apple to this. I think we will do our last seed. So this is almost filled up. Ooh, there's another oak sapling. And on the positive side, we're also like really close to getting four more pieces of wheat. Another apple? I actually will contribute this. Oh, we're so close. Oh, another one. Please be the one. No, we're not quite there. We did get another sapling though. Now I might just spend the night getting some cobblestone. This is gonna get a little weird. So we might start filling this back in. Day number four, that means we now have access to coal followed by water. Interesting. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, okay, I can place. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this little guy right here that hasn't grown yet. We can't move the water yet, but we can bring the seeds to it. Oh, and I'm realizing, like, I don't even have a bucket, so we're just gonna have to, like, block off some of this water. And our next layer is more stone. We may be hungry, but it's all right, because we are making progress. We just need literally anything from this and we'll have bone meal. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, when your hunger meter reaches zero in hardcore, you die. We do have a little bit of food and I guess we should probably just eat it. You know, we're still not super close to death because like worst case scenario, I guess we could still kill an animal. It's just gonna really negatively impact our late game because then we won't be able to breed them. Another tree, three more saplings. We're gonna sacrifice one into there. Two? Still nothing? But look how fast this is growing. Now this is gonna get really tricky. It's day four. We will have phantom spawning tonight. If these can finish growing, we can get a bed and then sleep off the night so that we don't get absolutely wrecked. Oh, there's one. There's gonna be two more seeds for down here. And please just do your thing. I have to sacrifice a seed. Yes! <gasps> okay, there's our piece of bone meal. I'm gonna use it on this one. There we go. There's the wheat. You and you. Oh, wait. It's still not gonna be enough because we can kill one, but it'll only drop one white wool and we need three for a bed. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I think we're just gonna have to stand her here tonight. Otherwise, we're gonna get wrecked. So we've got one and that's... Oh, I think this tree killed our dude. Oh, that's so sad. But we do have another one of these. That means we can get another sheep. Wow, actually really lucky. I think I'm actually just gonna take the rest of these seeds and we're gonna bring them on down. This is actually kind of awkward because our next day is like water, but we can't pick water up. We're just kind of chilling today. We're making really good progress on this. We've got another tree. And after a little bit of consideration, I think I'm actually gonna put this top layer back. It was a neat idea, but it's like I need to get down here and, and get some of this mined out. I can already see this beginning to resemble our original one chunk world. Cool, we actually have a room. Incredible. We've actually got a decent amount of wood. We'll take a stack. Maybe we can get a small house going here. Put some slabs on top. It ain't much. And I, I really can't even say it's enough or it's safe. It's, 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 <laughs> it's literally just not enough. We're gonna kill this sheep off. There's the bed and there's day six, which means we can break this. This layer and oh my god day seven is going to be iron but for now i think i'll get started on some stairs there's more wheat i think i might just have to go ahead and start like a whole row of wheat uh, it'll be fantastic i literally can't even run because i'm so hungry we'll cook up the four muttons that we have that is a beautiful thing we can finally get a little snack in. There is full hearts. That feels really good. Oh, that actually gave a bunch of saplings. Now maybe we can do something with this house. A full roof would be a good start. But uh, maybe we'll also turn this into slabs. Cause like that looks a lot better. And then if we go down below, then you know, there's like a little more headroom here. <laughs> and we can start laying some more dirt. And rather than sleeping, I think we'll just let these grow overnight. And finally the day has come. We have access to iron. You know, I gotta say, this is just uh, a huge W across the board. That makes things tricky. We have all this water, right? But you only need two blocks and, and that's enough for infinite water. So let's get this cooking up. While we wait on that, we can mine a little bit more. We'll take those six ingots. In a odd twist of faith, the first thing we're gonna make are two buckets. That's gonna be infinite water right there. This might be being overly cautious, but I'm actually gonna make another one. Also, we've got 
just drops like crazy right here. Eight extra oak saplings. Dude, things are starting to take off. So we can keep up on the iron. And ladies and gentlemen, after seven days, there is one iron pickaxe. We'll continue the tree chopping. Continue the iron mining. And with 24 pieces of iron, the boots, helmets, leggings, and of course, an iron chest plate. Not bad at all. At this point, I'm kind of thinking the play is gonna be to like mine out some of this, but not everything. The longer we wait, the closer we'll be to getting fortune. And then, you know, that could be like three or four pieces per ore. We can also afford some more iron tools. And I'm finally gonna get started on a fence. Add a layer of safety. We actually finished it, nice. We're also gonna try our best to move some grass down here. Oh my God, we have a zombie. Our first intruder, man, is kitted up but it doesn't matter. Probably should have a shield though. And should probably have some torches down here. Now for day eight, we've got gravel and oh, after that it's dirt, okay. I gotta say this round of layers is a lot less kind than the rainbow super flat. But I guess these first 10 days are just kind of like a plains biome. So it does make sense. Oh, okay. I was thinking gravel was completely useless. Man, this kind of sucks. Cause like we just, we need two villagers to do anything super interesting. We do have access to a fletching table now. It's not gonna be super Super crazy, but like we do have access to the stick trade. Can also make a barrel. Trades for this. Bucket of cod and coal for emeralds. But it's like, this is currently not an infinite resource. So I don't know like if that's really worth it, even though bucket of cod would be good. Other options would be like an armorer or a toolsmith. We'll give the blast furnace a shot. We can actually get the right trade from this guy. We might be able to get diamond gear from him. I'm almost positive he will take, yeah. Okay, so 15 coal per emerald. We want to get him so it's coal in like boots or or a helmet. Just like the cheaper the trade is, the more we can trade with him and then that will level him up faster to get him to diamond gear. There it is, that's what we're looking for. If we give him this coal, right? We can do like one, two, three, four. And then we can use these last four emeralds to, oh, it's not quite enough. Okay, well, in that case, we'll just sell him more coal. And so that levels him up, but also gives us emeralds, which we can now use to continue this process. So we don't want these chainmail boots, but they will continue to level him up. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just continue mining this coal. We will eventually be able to get to the nether. And once you have that, well, you've got wither skeletons and they'll give you unlimited coal. So it's not like coal will always be a finite resource. If we do the rest of this coal, that's four more emeralds and then four more of these. But one more round will be enough. In which case we are back to the coal farm. I straight up am not sure if we're gonna have enough coal. All right, so that is gonna be just about, ooh, just about all the coal. Also, it's really neat that this water doesn't flow down. This is our moment of truth. One more sale should do it. This man will take some coal and we'll buy another shield. There is the diamond armor. We're not quite there yet. We're gonna need some more like emeralds or, or something, but it's not half bad and we're pretty close. Also, this tree had a real glow up. Now oh, we've got another dig here. <gasps> Wood is next. So Wood's day 10 and to my understanding, every multiple of 10 is like a really big day. So like 20 should be something exciting, hopefully. I think I'm gonna try to get some mobs to spawn down here tonight. I mean, even getting a zombie villager at this point, like we don't have the things to turn them, but you know, the sooner we get one, the better. <gasps> no way. I literally hear a zombie villager. Now for the tricky part. Uh, I have an apple. Let's make the boat. Get a sword on the go. I gotta make a bread. This is too dangerous. Oh, <gasps> yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, and he's right by the boat. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, okay, we got the creeper. Okay, we can deal with this. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Ha ha! Oh, and the zombie's in the boat. Uh. Ha ha! Now what? I think this is a good floor to have this guy chill on. So uh, we'll break the boat and maybe get him over here. Yeah. If I just like wall this section off really well, like there's no way that an iron golem could spawn and kill him. I think he should be safe there. Now, I mean, it's not like we can turn this guy right now. We still need access to gold, sugar, glass, mushrooms, blaze rods. So yeah, there's, there's a, a long way to go before we can turn this guy. This is very big and it's a new day, which means we have access to wood. Not that it's like super big, but we'll take free wood. Oh, and next is sand. 
So I think we just made it through like the plain slash cave biome. And next up is gonna be beach or desert. Actually, I think I might just even leave all my mobs down here, except for pigs. They're just, you know, they're vibing too hard. You know, this really is starting to look like the perfect level to farm. So let's go ahead and get it started. Now day 11 is what we're really here for because ladies and gentlemen, there is the sand. Might not seem like a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to us. So this is actually gonna work out really well. So we can take the wood that we just chopped and use that as fuel to turn sand into glass. Now this next day is looking like sandstone, I think, but I'm just gonna spend the day clearing this out. Well, that's not a bad looking room. Okay, and this is actually kind of funny, but I think I wanna make my house a little bit smaller. Cool, it's a nice little starter home. So, our next day, why is there a hole? Okay, so there's sugar cane. Oh! So the next day is supposed to be sugar cane, but I think because there's no water, it all just broke, except for the spots where there is water. I'm just not gonna think about it. <laughs> but I am still gonna go ahead and break this. That's that mind. Feels kind of weird to be down here, but that's okay. Can't forget to do our sheep, especially because something I've been forgetting to do is shearing these guys. I figure it won't hurt to get started on some beds. And ladies and gentlemen, our very next day is sugar cane. Can't even lie, this is actually a very huge thing to get. Really one of the only ways to get books, and even more importantly, we do now have access to sugar. So I'm gonna try to go with the consistent theme of keeping every layer three high. So if we want that for here, we're gonna have to layer the sandstone back. Okay, this looks weird, but it's good. <laughs> Bear with me here. This is actually really cool. So we've got cut sandstone. I think that this will look a lot better. Perfect. Okay, so this is still admittedly really weird. The thought process for this room, it's desert, right? We're thinking desert temples. What's inside a desert temple is treasure. Is this too many chests? I think some might say it's not enough. Let's have chests for like everything. Our crops are ready. I can't even begin to acknowledge how well this worked out. Now we can fill this up fully. And man, look at all this wheat. That'll be four more beds. But more importantly, we now have food. I'm also gonna do something kind of weird. As long as this chest exists, we'll have access to infinite water. And in an ironic twist of fate, if we put water on the chest, waterlogged chest can't be blown up by creepers, and therefore we will always have water. We have cut sandstone. So, this is gonna be another day of clearing. I don't know what this room is gonna be, but I think it looks cool already. And our next block is... Smooth sandstone, okay. And I think that next block is terracotta. Oh, which means we're gonna have a terracotta floor. Cool. I feel like this section should have stairs to match the area though. So we can have wood, Stone, and finally sandstone. More beds, which will eventually be for a bunch of villagers. Ooh, look at that beautiful sky. So we forgot to do our 17th floor today. And then our next level is terracotta. <laughs> TNT. It's meant to be a desert temple, but that is really dangerous. Why? <laughs> Like, if that blew up, everything is just gone. <laughs> Actually, out of curiosity, in a backup world, let's see what would happen if we lit this TNT. Yeah, we, we probably don't want to let that happen. So yeah, this is like some serious run-ending stuff we got going on here. I am going to seal myself off so that... <laughs> Nothing can get in, and we are going to safetify this floor. Also, our day 20 reward is obsidian, which means we'll be able to get to the nether. Just really don't want a creeper to spawn. I appreciate the TNT, but I just really hope that that's it. Anyway, room successfully cleared. Now, I think we should start preparing for the nether. We need apples. Let's bust this composter out, and we're gonna fill it with seeds. Oh, that's not a lot of bone meal. <laughs> okay, we'll get some tree started. We'll hit them all with one bone meal. The reason I want apples is because we can get gold from the nether and make golden apples, which will keep us safe in the nether. Maybe sugarcane will do the job? Yeah, okay. There's three more. There's six more. Yes, yes. I believe the odds are better if you just leave them be, so we'll see what happens. This is not going very well. 
Yes! Oh, I see it! <laughs> Dude, let's go. So we've got two cooked mutton, 10 pieces of bread. <gasps> Make that two apples. Oh no, I just realized I don't have diving gear. Oh no, what a troll. Oh my God. Well, I mean, with an iron pick, we, we could still break it. You just can't collect it. No problem at all. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did it. For now, I think I'd like to set this room up as to what will be our first villager hall. Sweet. I think our storage room will also make for like a good just general workspace. So the last few days were a little grindy. Oh, we're making really good progression. This was 21. Lapis was 22. That's actually good to see. I think we're into like the deep cave biome. I guess you could call it now. Next up, it would see. Oh, we've got more deep slate. But ladies and gentlemen, day 24, we have emeralds. Oh man, this is about to make things a little more interesting. So in this very moment, we're just looking for emeralds. Um, has anyone seen a villager? What? I don't know where this guy could have gone. Oh, <laughs> he got stuck behind this tree. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> okay, hello, my guy. I would like to first level you up. So again, we're just gonna buy stuff that we don't really want because it's gonna turn him into a master. And there we have access to all diamond gear. So we'll just get back to mining emerald. And I'm pretty sure that fortune does affect emerald ore. So we're only gonna take as much as we need. Wow, this is crazy though. Day 24 and like we're just starting to get access to better ore. Ladies and gentlemen. We got the gear. And the enchants are actually going to be pretty good for the nether. Maybe we should buy more from him, and then we can add them together using an anvil. So we won't go too crazy, but we'll, we'll, we'll dabble. So we've got iron. We've got the anvil. I think we'll take the protection. Another pair of boots. And two more leggings. So we add two and two to get three. Once again. And three and three is gonna make protection four. We'll mine out some more of this lapis. And that'll give us fire protection too. So like considering what we're doing, like that's actually a pretty good set of armor. So day 25 is nothing interesting. But up next we do have more iron. But the next day is going to be redstone. Oh man, you know we're getting close to diamonds. Also, can we just take a moment to acknowledge how many sheep I have now? Like we are at the point where our wool production is capped off by the amount of grass. Next day, we have iron followed by redstone and then gold. They're just dragging this on. I think that means we're gonna have to spend the day mining. Now with all that mining done, today is going to be a very good day. So day 29, coal. And seeing as 30 is the special day, I am willing to bet that there it is. Finally, after all this time, we have hit diamonds. Pav, you are the diamonds. Okay, so that should be all we need for now. It's also looking like nether is going to be next. We have the pick, axe, shovel, and sword. And farewell to these beautiful tools. Hello to something finally good. And with that, I think it's time we go to the nether. We'll just use the roof, I guess. <laughs> now let's go to the nether. So right off the bat, we can take magma blocks. And soul sand for elevators. We should also grab nether quartz for redstone builds. And now we mainly just need leather, brown mushrooms, and blaze rods. Should probably have thought to make boots. Oh, well, there's our leather right there. There's the boots. Oh, man, it's just so exciting to finally be getting a bunch of resources. Like, the last 30 days have just been setting up the world and getting it going, but now we are about to make moves. Ha ha ha! Get wrecked, nerd. So we're gonna go this way now. Well, 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 that isn't more of the same. Feel like the odds are much better in soul sand, but you know what they say. Like the cool summer breeze, soul sand doesn't last forever. This is not looking promising. So I am just gonna dig. So still nothing, but we're making progress. <laughs> There's our very first ender pearl. Whoa! <gasps> Where the heck did you come from? So there has to be another fortress somewhere nearby. Bro, am I dumb? Oh my god. <laughs> hey! That's two? That's all we need for right now. I just want to get home. 
Oh, hey. Hi there. Oh, it's so good to be back. So there's our brewing stand. So the last thing we need is a spider eye. We'll just block this off and check it in the morning. In the meantime, we can get glass bottles. And there's the water bottles for our potion of weakness. Good to know it's working. <laughs> Vosla decided I don't like the look of this wood. And to be fair, that does look pretty cool. Just needs to replace this with more sandstone. Can we let some light in and maybe get them burning a bit without dying? Oh, maybe the creeper's not gonna blow up. Nice. Oh my God. Wait, what are you doing? Go away, go away. This is not where you should be right now. Oh, there's gunpowder. Oh, no, buddy, no. You're good. We need the eye. Yes. Oh, we can fix everything up. Now we take our spider eye, sugar, and brown mushroom. That gives us one fermented spider eye. We put this in the brewing stand, uh, along with a piece of blaze powder. That'll give us potions of weakness. And then adding gunpowder to any potion is gonna turn it into a splash potion. Now we'll grab our gold that's been cooking up. Lastly, we'll get our golden apples. Everyone just like come over here for a second, please. There you go. And there you go. Hey, and there it is, my man, welcome. You've been stuck as a zombie for so long. You're free. Now the question is, how do we get you out? Everyone come here. Yes, ha <laughs> ha. Yes, my God, look at that. We have two villagers. So for our next villager, wondering if farmer is gonna be the play. Oh, this is our turned guy. Like there's always the Fletcher route, but turned Fletchers don't really give good deals. Plus we have access to diamonds now, so it's not like we need tools. See what I want from this guy is sells bread, buys wheat. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, I think that's the play, right? Cause we buy or we sell our wheat. And then we can use that to get bread. And now we use our bread, give it to them. And in the morning, they should breed another villager. I think that's the smartest thing we can do right now. Actually, I'll take the rest of my bones and turn that into bone meal. Let's just go wild. Wait, that's good, but I actually have an even better idea. First, we'll head back to the nether. We can grab ourselves some bone block. So that's gonna make a lot of bone meal. We want an observer. Oh shoot, we need three bows for dispensers. So there's one. Two. So yeah, I'm just gonna grab some gold. Hi there. So we're looking for all sorts of things, but mainly string, which, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really easy. Now, finally, <laughs> took way too long, but there's a third bow. That'll make three dispensers. You need an observer and a piston. If you can believe it, I think that's everything. So we take our dispensers like that. Our observer goes like that. That. Blocks go here, piston here, redstone there, and redstone over top. Also need a lever. Ha ha! So that does something. Gotta add the bone meal. And now it's working. Well, we got 17 wheat. I mean, it's definitely not not working. 59, that's actually crazy. I mean, it's super simple, but like over two stacks of wheat that quickly is incredible. You are obsolete. So now we can do some more trades with our farmer, buy some more bread. We have a third villager. I think it is time we do the Fletcher thing. And yeah, we'll lock that in. Now, before we get to this next build uh we've been really busy uh we should probably get back to this day 31 oh is that bone block okay well i'm silly 33 is whatchamacallit 34 is glowstone 35 is nether gold 36 is crimson log 37 is shroom light now with that done i do want to get back to this fletcher in past videos you've seen me chop down trees to get sticks we're gonna do it a little bit differently so actually first of all we're gonna do some organization next we need some fuel. We're gonna make some more glass so that we can build a platform above our house. Now the platform is gonna be some kind of tree farm. This is something I've never done before, so bear with me. So we need four redstone comparators, two repeaters. I don't know what these do, but a video is gonna tell me. Need a trap door, bone meal, a bunch of saplings. We actually need another bow. Trade more wheat to the farmer. Just a few sticks. There we go. There's a bow. Yeah, we need a dispenser. Almost just smelted the last of my cobblestone. Oh, we need an observer. So in that case, <laughs> all right, cool. I don't know what I'm doing, but here's how I think this is gonna look. That's our base. We fill this in. So the frame is gonna go nine blocks high. Oh, this is not where we wanna be. Uh, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just gonna spend the night mining. I actually want nether brick. Whoa! Oh, that's not obsidian, that's lava. Cool, yeah, so nether brick is gonna be the stairs for the nether. Okay, yeah, this set of three will be a floor. I'm feeling kind of lazy. Enemy spotted. Okay, there's leather. We can make a book. And we'll make an enchanting table. Efficiency two. Sure. <laughs> Actually, if I'm gonna commit to this pick, I better heal it up at least a little bit. And with no mining done last night, we can now get back to our farm. Put a piece of stone over top. Now we've got a little chamber here. We want something that looks like that. And lastly, we're just gonna fill this in with glass. Now it's time for the redstone. Hey! Doing something. <laughs> so my understanding is you put bone meal in there. Your sapling goes there. Next we hit this lever and it should start firing bone meal at it. Oh no, <laughs> did I break something? Okay, it, it, it's not bad. Definitely not the craziest fire we've ever come up with, but like, I mean, at the very least, I'm just kind of impressed that that works. So, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> We could use those sticks to get emeralds, buy more bread, get more villagers. It's not a terrible system, but if we really want to get it going, we're going to need more saplings and more bone block. Oh my God, I also forgot. We need to continue our way down to our last layer. So I guess like we now have access to infinite lava. So I don't really feel bad about breaking this. Pretty major inconvenience, if anything. So let's see what we got underneath here. Oh, oh, obsidian is the last day. Okay, I thought we had one more thing. I see. Okay, cool. Well, we've made it through the nether. Next up, we have more water, and then it looks like we're on to the ocean. All right, I'm glad that this is all sorted out. Now, the bone block acquisition can continue. So with a renewed sense of bone block, let's try this again. Um tree okay yeah now that i'm getting in the hang of this i can see that this is pretty good just takes a lot of bone block and on another note villagers are coming along pretty nicely we also might want to think about some more enchantments so we're here for leather this is why we have a bow <laughs> yeah we'll just see if we can get this piglin to get us the last piece hey that was easy oh hey thank you <laughs> uh yeah i want those soul speed boots a lot of this nether is soul sand so that'll be helpful next we'll take our sugar cane turn it into paper we need three books make a bookshelf lectern and we're gonna try to get a librarian take like unbreaking mending or efficiency Ooh, fortune three the annoying thing is i also need bookshelves so that we can get our enchanting table going Ooh, efficiency four but nothing silk touch it's cool but i just don't think we have enough of a use for it yet you know the more i roll through this i'm actually thinking that this is the trade we want because even if we get a sick book it's like we can't really afford it, but we can take all this, make like a good amount of paper, and let's see what we can do. Oh, that's enough for two bookshelves. How are we gonna get enough emeralds for 13 more bookshelves? Oh man, didn't want to resort to this. Sell some sticks. I am an addict, but that's two more. Oh, it's a little bit more. That'll make five. Enchantments can go here, I think. Take us up to level 10. I might just make new gear. I'm gonna make a new ax. We'll do a pickaxe too. Okay, still efficiency two, and efficiency two with unbreaking. Eh, yeah, we'll take sharpness. And efficiency two again. It's a little bit too late, but there's three more books. Puts this like one bookshelf closer. It is a stronger bow. Also random, but I never use those trap doors for the build. Kinda just want like an easier way to get down into here. <laughs> Can even put a hay bale right there. Let's try a shepherd. Pink bed? Yeah, I'll take a pink bed. Oh, okay, lots of prismarine stuff. I think prismarine stairs next. While we're at it, I have a question. In the last 100 days video, I just kept a super basic simple house. So should we make a cool house for this episode? So first of all, we're gonna make this bigger. What if the house just becomes the top floor? So there's our floor. So just a little switch up in this staircase and I think I'm just gonna continue it up. Perfect. So I'm finding it surprisingly difficult to come up with a, a sort of design for this. You know, there's no guides for single chunk houses. Second floor, uh, it's adding a bit of structure at the very least. Kind of feels like we're stumbling onto something cool. I like it. Uh, I hate that I had this idea. Wondering if it would be cool to like make this uh, uh, like a lower level. I hate it because I think it looks really cool. <laughs> oh, it does look cool. I think it's a cool start. It just feels so cozy. You're like, you know, right, right, you got a little, little ledge before your beautiful view. What a little ceiling lamp as well. Okay, are you seeing these drops right now? 
now? Like, why don't I get this on day one? That'll also be two more golden apples as a line of defense. So next up, I want to get mining more of this. First, I think we should get fortune three. Oh my God, that was so easy. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll get a start on this floor and get a bunch of wood that we can turn into sticks. We got to pull out all the stops right now. 33. Oh, too short. More wool. Break the book. Talk to the dude. Buy the fortune. There it is. Now, I'd love to go for fortune three, but I just don't think we can afford it yet. But with that, let's, uh, let's get mining. Well, we've got over 100 emeralds, so that's not too bad. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to turn this into blocks. I wish it was emeralds. Also, day 45. This is quite literally the most OP water I've ever encountered in my life. But you know what they say, rock always beats paper or something. So 44 was the dark purse marine and 45 is sea lanterns. We need silk touch. I'm just gonna continue breaking this stuff. Well, we may as well turn this all into sticks. Sticks. Now, with our emeralds, I think we're gonna go for bookshelves. Yeah, that'll do it. We're gonna make another pick. Mm, efficiency four. That's hard to say no to. <laughs> I think right now, we really need to just keep working on these floors. I mean, like, damn, this is a really cool looking floor. And I know you guys have been probably thinking, like, what is what is this man doing? He hasn't mined any of the diamonds. Feel like maybe we should wait, but it also looks really cool. I just, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. And I think I just want to wait until I have a better idea of what I should do. It's also tricky because this next floor is only two layers, but it's so bright. Oh, day 46 was also this. Gosh, I suppose we could tackle this floor. It's just gonna take so long. I hate it. Even with efficiency four, it's it's like five seconds a block. I think maybe we'll still wait till efficiency five to tackle this, but I do have one crazy idea for a build. So we want magma block and uh, soul sand. We're gonna make an elevator. For this, we are gonna be needing a lot of blocks. Cobbled deep slates. So the elevator is gonna go right here. Here. Bear with me guys, because this is gonna be a really tricky build. We'll start with just a single floor and then we'll, we'll, we'll continue it on. Basically the idea for this is you have soul sand, which uh, it's kind of like, it's like, yeah. See, it, it bubbles you up, it sends you up through water. We'll go like there and then it shoots you up. Yeah, yeah, cool. Maybe we can make this uh, like a little bit nicer. We could do, yeah, deep slate bricks. Woo! So that's one more floor. Yeah, okay, so there, there we go. We, we found the pattern. <laughs> yeah, now that we've got the hang of this, it's not going too bad. Wow, I can't believe this is working. I mean, you know, it's not like the best looking thing, but it will add so much convenience. Thinking maybe this floor is a good place to start. Oh yeah, we can just do it by floor. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So like, boom, I think we should have it. Yes! Oh, -ho! did you see that? That's actually so hype. I mean, it's not even the first time I made an elevator, but it's just like really neat for this kind of world. Now we could also do one that takes you down. You place a magma block there. Yeah, so I think for where we're at, this is less useful. I think I'd prefer it going up. And I also don't think that we have enough space to do two. But today, I think I am gonna go ahead with breaking this floor. You don't really need two levels. The shroom lights are just kind of awesome. Yeah, that looks, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. That looks good. And that looks good. This is the floor with the lava. I just don't really wanna deal with any more obsidian or lava than I have to. This is the floor with the water. I kind of feel the same way. So this ocean layer uh, has pretty much just been another repeat. We've got more dark prismarine. Okay, well tomorrow is gold block. Oh, I get it. It's like an ocean monument. The so 49 is our gold blocks and 50 is gonna be sponges. That checks out. I want a gold floor. Oh, if we did gold floor, then we could have the sea lantern ceiling. Oh, but first, now that we're level 30, yeah, I'm gonna take protection three. Nice. Yeah, we're just gonna take protection two. Oh, and respiration. And no, we won't die in our elevator. And with that all done, we can confidently add efficiency and the unbreaking pick together. Yeah, let's get mining. 
just for now, I kind of want to leave this little 3x3 pillar in the middle. It's a cool aesthetic. We don't really have anything going on in this room just yet. And just to add a nice little touch, since, you know, it is an ocean monument after all, we'll hide a little gold in there. Now, next, I think it's time we expand our elevator. We'll do a relatively lazy version of this. Little four stack set. And again. Hey! I know they say never dig straight down, but... Come on. Also, dang, this gold looks great in the sun. I don't know. <laughs> feel like it's a little crowded in here now. Now, nah, this next part is gonna be tricky. Oh no, sponge. Oh! Nice! I feel like we could do better with this design though. Place the top with netherrack, bottom as well, and bone block. Gosh, I may just have to fix the whole thing. Also kind of thinking we could add doors to all of them. Let's stop in this. Again, something like that. So now we're looking more like this. Yeah, I like it. Suppose we could replace this for wood. Now with that complete, 51 is looking like some color of stained glass. I think we're gonna need to get silk touch, but dang, wow, we've moved on to the glass dimension. Just gonna keep rolling this pick. Eventually we'll get silk touch. Well, that was easy. Uh, now we just need a lot of levels. So all in all, I think things are going pretty well, but I just want to take a moment and do a bit of cleanup. Top floor. We'll chop the trees, replant the saplings, and that's about it for now. So just a general remodeling. A crafting table there. Chests can go here. Crafting table there. For now, uh, it's nothing crazy, but I think once we get some more blocks, we can make this look a lot nicer. This could certainly use some cleaning. I'm not really using this for farmland anymore, but I think we can make this a little less chaotic. I think for now, if we want to fix this, we're going to have to just get rid of all the water. Yeah, this feels good to finally get this taken care of. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to give these sheepy boys some light. This just, it's like, oh my God, I, I can breathe in here. It's not so clean. Cluttered now, it feels great. Plus we can get all that iron cooking up. I'd really like to get this cow out of here. I don't know, I feel like he's he's gotta be lonely with all these sheep. Can I lure all the sheep over here generally? Like a lot of them, yeah. Yes, ha ha, my boy is free. Maybe we should make a room just for our cow. Maybe I'll just clear this room. This is gonna take a while, so please subscribe. There we have it. Was that worth almost an entire day? I'll let you decide. But at the very least, I think this cow would say yes. It was worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this in with blue terracotta. That gives it a nice consistency. Just make a big wall. Now for the pig. I am so stupid. I am so, what? No! Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Actually, come to think of it, I don't even know where the other pig is. Not only do we have a lonely cow, we also somewhere have a lonely pig. Actually, I, I, I really can't find it. He might have died too. Maybe it was for the best. Tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. Two or three sheep, bring these lads on down. Come on in guys. You know, because we really don't want our cow to be lonely. Now I would like our cow to feel a little bit more at home. And while I don't think I'll ever get access to brown dye, we do currently have blue. They don't really look like cows at all, but at the very least, they're not white sheep. I guess we could also take this poppy, turn that into red dye. And there, you know, that's, that's kind of fun. It's the best we can do for our poor cow friend. Anyway, this is more organized. We've got our floors doing better overall. Things are looking, you know, not too bad. Suppose we could give our dudes a bit of light. Let's try stairs. That's the best I can do. Now, I actually do have one thing we need to fix here. I am so sick of not having labels on these chests. Like, oh my God. Okay, I need organization. Let's grab ourselves some leather. So there's our leather. There's our frames. Gosh, like so many of these are just Kind of empty chest still. This still will help us, oh yeah, help us quite a bit. That feels a lot better. Should also really get an iron golem in here. I just let so many villagers out. Oh God, oh God, yeah, okay. They will find their way home. Oh gosh, these guys are so expensive. We'll sell some sticks. That'll be the level up. Please, sir, yes. What we'll do is break a few of these. That'll give us books. Bit of a cheat, but books do sell for emeralds. Buy lanterns. This will break this. 
put two there. So, you know, it's just like a little more, uh, I don't know, consistent, I guess is the word. Yeah, that looks better. Well, this floor is fine for now, as is this floor. The next one, this is gonna be an issue. I think we just gotta tear up this whole floor. Ah! Oh wow, fire doesn't do anything. Fantastic. And now to just deal with my worst enemy. Oh, we have obsidian next. Man, I really don't want to have to break this. Like, did you see how long that last floor took? Okay, maybe I have a good idea here. I'll break all this. I think that'll look better if it's just consistent. I don't know. It's like, this is a weird room. Because I, I just, I don't like that positioning, but it, it's, it's there now. And I kind of like having like a nice deep room. Anyway, this will serve as a great room for activities. Oh, now, yeah. I know what, how we're gonna have to deal with this. Some sponge, right? So we're gonna head back on up. We're gonna get this sponge cooking. Grab our eight. Hey! Oh my god, it actually works! This water is like so weird. I was kind of scared that it was gonna be, you know, some sort of magic water. Damn, shout out sponges, the real MVP. We will do that again. Oh, can I get a perfect placement? Yes. Oh, satisfying. Boom. I think sponges might be my new favorite thing in Minecraft. I don't like a two floor room. That's just kind of wasteful in my opinion. So in case anyone was wondering that, yeah, see look, I can't move. This is like a barrier. Yeah, so that's why the water wasn't like flowing out over the edges and why it looks so cool. <laughs> oh, well that's kind of neat. That means I actually can't fall over the side. We may as well take advantage of this implemented feature. I like this a lot. I got one more idea though. Let's take our glass. See, we've got these sea lanterns right so we can just fill that in with glass and then we get light I like it it's a cool looking floor and I love how the elevator is like kind of just tucked away to the side let's actually go get some warped log pretty sure there was a warp for it nice <laughs> I wish I could say that that was timed but that was genuinely too good to even fake <laughs> now some of you might be posing the question did I really need 56 warp stems just for that but we got our door like that basically gosh it almost makes me want to go back and redo some of these why not fill in that little weird space I don't know that just feels good like it's like a little chimney it's fantastic you can't tell me otherwise yeah like that's actually kind of horrific this would probably look better as an iron door that feels appropriate but I think we're gonna have to whoa move this chest oh look at this we're just doing constant improvement just feel like slowly but surely we're making everything look so good gosh I'm in such a great mood here have some bread now I require some levels we can sell some sticks hose we could shear our sheep well, this will get us a bit more. I'll buy three pink wools. I just want a queen size bed. Can you blame me? Well, we can buy some more lanterns. Oh, and we do finally have access to glass, which is just in general, nice thing to have. It's level 28, we're only two away. Two levels, it's staring me in the face, but I don't want to dig these diamonds. Okay, maybe we'll mine it, but we'll do it in a cool pattern. Oh, I suppose the logical thing to do would just be finish this off in the nether. And that should do it. Nice. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have the silk touch pick with unbreaking three. And now finally, I know you guys have been waiting for a really long time. We are about to hit day 60, which means we can go through all 10 of these, what I presume to be layers of glass. So you're 51 red stained glass next up oh my god okay there it is you can see it red orange obviously what is next but yellow oh this is cool followed by green we finally wow this is sick oh my god we finally made it to like the true rainbow aspect of this challenge i'm kind of freaking out guys okay and there's our day 60. i don't really know what i'm doing but I'm just gonna start breaking glass. God, this is such a weird liminal space. Just gonna be a weird fun house. That's what I've decided this area is gonna be. Like, say what you want about this, guys, but I, I mean, I, I call this art. I'm gonna sell this as an NFT. Like, I literally can't get over how weird and cool this is. I do wanna put some of this glass to use. Like this light blue, I don't know, it kind of pairs well. I like it. I really like this floor a lot. I don't know though, I think that adds something. Haven't been the most satisfied with this floor, so I think we're just gonna break all of this. It's like, do I really need a lame nether room when I have such cool one below it? Not really. Who remembers? 
These popsicles, come on. That's our color scheme. There's pink, green, and that'll make purple. Can we get a creative shot of our island? You know, that shot makes me realize maybe we should get some more stuff going on up here. Like here, sure, we can replant the sugar cane, but I feel like I just still need some farmland here. You know, it's just, it's just a little too bare. Don't get me wrong, the auto machine is nice, but sometimes you just gotta do it the old fashioned way. I think I should also be finally getting around to better armor. Like we still do have an ender dragon fight coming up and while this is okay wouldn't call myself comfortable i think really in general our villager situation is not the best it could be because we haven't got any better saplings we just really haven't been able to get a lot of emeralds and well it's, it's just it's it's a world of problem we should get the rest of these guys we need a tool smith and a weapon smith Dang it, they just want coal. So I can level this guy up by buying his shovels. And in a perfect world, he will take iron as a sale. Will. Four iron for one emerald. It's not great, but an iron farm would work. Yeah, I think we can make a pretty good iron farm up here. First thing we'll need to do is take three of these villagers. And there we go. Boom, perfect right there. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I think this will make for a great spot. I think rather than following the recipe, I'll try to do this one on my own. The first thing we're gonna need is a name tag for a zombie. One of the oldest tricks in the book. We make a cartographer. Obviously, we turn our glass into glass panes. Tried and true strategy. Man, maybe that's our strategy all along. Is this like a Minecraft hack? Because we can use our emeralds to buy glass, right? And then this glass turns into paints. And then, theoretically, you sell the paints for more emeralds. It's not like a one-to-one -one ratio, but come on. Feels like an infinite money glitch. The whole reason I wanted to do an iron farm was to level up, which I just did. Now I can make a new chest plate, a new helmet, and new boots. Oh, protection three. Man, I kind of got to do it. Because we already got the three, so we can get four. Ah, uh, but I still got a bit of work to do for these last two pieces. What if I say I have a new plan? So back to the farm, I think we should keep up with this sort of consistency. So here's the containment area for our villagers. Oh, I don't think so. No one's getting out of here, no sir. So this is the viewing area. Now for the zombie. All right, buddy, you're coming with me. Making you a boat. Beautiful, you're doing great. We're all so proud of you. Ha ha, you dingus. Aha, there it is. Yeah, this is functioning correctly. Just need to get this guy in a boat until we can get a name tag for him. Right, slab on over that area so that golems won't spawn on top. Ah, and that is actually where our golem did spawn. Down below. That's interesting, because this is technically a slab. Okay, well, we got a little bit to work on here. Ha ha, he's stuck. Now you, sir, I will sell you some iron. With the emeralds we need, we'll do these sheep. And maybe one more golem. Oh, so close. Dang, I have truly never struggled like this. That'll be it. Name tag you. So this is like the core of this farm. The golems are gonna keep spawning around here since this isn't slapped. Would this look cool? I think so. Kinda looks like shingles. Yeah, actually, I, I like this a lot. Yeah, let's go ahead with this. Okay, so that should be everything. And now we want water, lava, gates, I'm pretty sure. Now it's time for part two. This is the thing that I don't really know what I'm doing. We're gonna try our best. So this is the area where the dude will spawn. Hopper's going this way. Water flows like this. Then basically the golem gets stuck here and uh, he dies. So this design is supposed to have sign here here and here, uh, sign goes here, and then I think that's it. These villagers, very scared. They need an iron gold. Oh, I see the problem. He's spawning on this little area. Well, in that case, sadly this has gotta change. We'll get back to this, okay? Let's deal with priority number one. It's weird because I know like how a functioning iron farm could easily work here. Oh, it worked! And the iron, yes! This is a beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. Got it to work with very minimal help. How well will it work though? That is the question. We'll let it run overnight. I'm not really sure what's up, but nothing has spawned up there since. So I think what I'm gonna do is just try to lower it. Like maybe that was a bad idea. Um, um, uh-oh, um, what have I done? What is clicking? What is going on? Everything is on fire. I'm on fire. I'm gonna die. The villagers are gonna die. My poor house. What did I do differently that I didn't do last time? I really never had a fire like that before. I am gonna need a little bit of time. 
the next day. Okay, I think that's it. Just gonna take a quick nap. I think that's it. Does this work? Well, oh, oh my God. All that suffering, all re that redoing. It worked. It was worth it. Yes. I have zero regrets except all, all, all of this. But other than that, big things, ladies and gentlemen, big things. Let's just get ourselves some more wood. And with these slabs, we can refinish our house. It's missing a little bit of charm, but uh, you know, at least it's like livable. <laughs> Maybe we could make a cobblestone generator. So we would want lava, water, hoppers, and it really might be that easy. Because the floor is obsidian, I'm gonna choose this room, and we are going to completely wing this. Chest, hoppers, yeah. So lava goes here, water goes here. Nope, <laughs> I think I did it the wrong way. So lava goes here, there's the slab. Ha ha, yeah, nice, okay, that was pretty simple. 600K subs on YouTube and I've never made a cobblestone generator before. There we go. You know, it's nothing crazy, but it works and it's mine. I could also grab silk touch. Check that stone, right? Yeah, we can start cooking up some stone. Should probably tell you what I'm planning to make. I'm just really not happy with this whole house thing. The only wood source we've got is oak and I'm just like, I'm not into it. I don't know, it's, it's uninspiring, it's boring. So we're just gonna try something different. Like I like the wall, but I don't think we wanna see dirt here. So what if we do stairs? I think that looks all right. Yeah, I'm actually cool with something like this. Problem that's gonna arise is I think golems can spawn around this edge. It's like not bad iron. We can sell this all off. That's not bad. Oh wow, an efficiency three pick. So yeah, I'll buy one. Shear some sheep. But now that it's morning, this guy will just buy more iron. And that's enough for another pick. So that's one more thing we can add together. But what about a helmet? Beautiful, literally perfect. We'll just sell some more iron. Then we'll use these emeralds to buy glass. Turn this glass into panes and sell these panes to this guy. Ha ha! Ah, but that's protection four! We'll sell more iron. We're gonna buy axes from this dude. Now he'll buy iron. We'll grab some more iron. Sell some more iron to sell more glass. There's 30. And there are the protection four boots and an unbreaking book. So now we can combine these two and these two. And with just a bit more glass, a bit more wool, and some sticks. That'll be a pretty spicy pick. Rip to the anvil. Now I am so sorry guys. We have been distracted. I think we knew what was coming here so I wasn't in a huge rush to get this. 73, we've got over 10 days to go through. It's literally just wool. Oh wow, I gotta say again, this looks really cool. Dig the colors, just not sure how useful any of this is for us. So we have glass, wool, oh, concrete. 71, 72, and that makes 73. The coolest looking thing ever, but I just don't know what to do with it. I just like the look of it, but I, I, I don't have any practical use case for wool. I think I kind of like just leaving the exterior. Cause like it makes the island look really cool. But I think I just want to dig this entire section of wool out. This is a large area. I'm not really sure how to go about doing this. <laughs> Start from the top and work our way down. This is gonna take forever. We'll grab ourselves some levels. I'm pretty sure you can enchant shears. There's efficiency one. There's uh, efficiency one shears, okay. <laughs> I think it is faster, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, they're gonna break. Oh, but we can fix them, okay, wow. Who knew Shears could do this? Probably like all of you. Wow, this room is actually turning into an absolute vibe. We've got like the warmer colors up top and the cooler colors down below. Rocking that tropical popsicle and Miami Vice. Maybe the best looking rooms in the whole island. Also 74, yeah, there we go. Can't believe this, <laughs> but somehow, a golem spawned in here, and this jerk stopped our iron from going. But we can still sell off what iron we have. And I actually want to think about these guys for a second. The cartographer, the man with the trades. We'll leave these guys in here. Actually, if we could get a third, that would be incredible. In case you're wondering, we're actually gonna do the conversion thing again. Basically just looking for better deals on those glass panes. Yeah, let's just let's just make a bunch of golden apples. Still got our splash potions of weakness. Take the light out of here. Now, while we wait for that, um, I feel like I still never completely finished this up. I don't want dirt, it just looks bad. That just feels a lot better. Also, I'm gonna spruce, and, and by spruce, I mean oak. <laughs> 
<laughs> gonna oak. We're gonna oak all these up. Just add like a little bit of variation. I would like to also move one of these babies. There they go. So we have the dudes. Okay, 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 we're good. Get out of here. This was not the plan. How? What? This is not necessarily bad. You gotta get out of here. Uh, I just gotta let everyone turn. How the heck did a zombie get up there? I'm so confused. I've literally been so good this game at keeping any mob away from our villagers. All right, there we go. So if everyone just wants to come over here, we're gonna do a little group turning here, okay? So, perfect. Every single villager, except the three that I wanted to turn. <laughs> I think these guys should be okay. That shouldn't be enough light to hurt them. There's the turn. He's gonna get out fine. Nice. And this is perfect because they're still all focused on me, so these villagers are gonna be okay. And... Yes! I'm gonna have to just kill this one, but it's fine because it's a baby and whatever. I gotta say, I think I handled that pretty well. Man's giving out fortune two for one. Look at that. Boom, done, easy fortune three pick. Efficiency three shovel? Like, sure. Same for the axe. I don't know where this dude came from, but like an infinity? Yeah, honestly, I'll take it. And I'm gonna make some more potions of weakness just kind of as a safety precaution. In case something goes horribly wrong again, I, I wanna have more than one potion on hand. Also, I am going to block this iron golem in. So that way there's an iron golem spawned. No more will spawn. This guy can't kill the zombie that we're gonna bring up. We need more golden apples. So tonight we are blocking this off. Grabbing another zombie. All right, and we just need him to fall on down here. Get in the hole. Ha ha! <laughs> so there, that's easy. I'm just gonna step up for a second. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we want to turn these guys twice, don't we? So maybe we'll leave the zombie in for now. We'll hit these dudes with a weakness potion. Oh, I don't like this. Well, yeah, I'm glad I left it like half lit up because it's not too bad. Well, there's the sunrise. Oh, six. And there's day 77. Oh, they turned. Uh, the zombie died because I left it, obviously. It's not exactly what I thought would happen. Anyway, okay, sh sure. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, we can buy glass. We used 11 emeralds. Can we get 11 emeralds back? Oh, easily, easily. That's pretty fantastic. We have an infinite emerald machine. I'm sorry, you guys aren't machines, of course. You're, you're human beings, you got feelings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, level these guys up. Also, just out of curiosity, let's see what a, a map... <laughs> so that's a map of what this video is taking place on. Oh my god, look at those levels. What? This is like <laughs> pure hacks. I would like to level this guy up. Maybe he'll sell us glass too. Please, sir, I'm so sorry. Just sell me glass. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I really can't get over how good this is. Normally, it wouldn't be that useful because you just have access to sand, you know? But in this kind of setting where like our resources are super limited, this is actually like probably the best thing we could have come up with. Like, damn, there's an easy level 30. <laughs> now we just gotta do this one more time. Oh, you're so yes, ha ha. Okay, to make sure this is safe, I'm gonna double it up. Just being extra cautious. So that should do it. I'm gonna take this guy out. Here you lads go. An apple for each of you. And for this one, I do gotta stay. Yeah, look at that. We got ones across the board. Uh, it's broken, it's OP, and it's absolutely ours. You guys can come on out. Thank you so much for dealing with me. So yeah, this works super simply. We just buy glass, convert it like so, and profit. Yeah, like actually, I mean, given like that we don't have a huge supply of glass, we probably could have just left them as is, but this makes it even easier. Wow, and now we have two stacks of emeralds. Things are looking up. Feather falling too. It ain't much but we'll take it. Also going to repair this and make a better ax. Talk to this guy and that's an even better ax. Do the same for shovels. And while I don't really need it, there's efficiency five. That's another power two, four, another power three. And it really is that easy. Little power four, feeling a lot better for this ender dragon fight. Ah, day 80. I think it's time we head on back down. So day 78. 79. Oh my god, day 81 is redstone block. You absolutely know we're about to hit some good stuff here. Next 10 days, 100% the rainbow treasure. I have got some levels that I need to acquire. I want to get efficiency on this silk touch pick. There we go. Nice. Now I do this because I've decided I want to clear out the glass. 
And for now, this is just gonna remain super chaotic. That's a vibe. Sweet. 81. We have redstone followed by orange. Orange. What is orange? It's not copper. Uh, I really don't know. I am gonna try making a giant room. I don't know what this is gonna be, but we are gonna clear all of this out. We're just gonna continue down and make it, like I said, a, a huge room. There we go. I don't know if this room is going to serve like literally any purpose at all, but it looks pretty dope. And anyway, it's a shulker box. A floor of shulker boxes. I'm gonna say that's oxidized copper. Dang, that's actually like really big for us. I think I'll take the day to continue our elevator. And there's a red shulker box. Now we just need to fill water sources in once more. All right, we've done it. Oh, and now we can see what our next day is. Gold, okay. Doesn't really make a whole, oh. You know what I bet this was supposed to be? I bet that this was supposed to be normal copper, right? Because like red, orange, a little less orange, yellow. It must have oxidized in the last 80 days. Oh, uh, that's really funny. Can we fix this? Oh man, just just for uh, visual representation. That's what it's supposed to be, I think. Nice. Oh, look at that rainbow. You know, I think I might like some way to get down quickly. Just like make a big hole, basically. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> if I just put a bucket of water here, this is safe, right? Only one way to find out. Hey. So gold is next and it's gonna be followed. Hey, the big emerald block. For now though, it is day 84. I think we should probably start thinking about the ender dragon. Our armor is good. Biggest thing is we need a better sword. So we'll get back to the grind. Dang, this guy sells smite three swords. That's not what we need. Make another grindstone. But regardless, there's our level up and we have sharpness. That's a good sword. We're just gonna buy as many of these as we can. Oh, it's grossly expensive. That is less expensive. Okay, so to combine these, 20. Probably would have been better off to just make a sword. Ladies and gentlemen, it's another day. We've got glass to sell and XP to be made. So there is the grossly expensive sword. I think sharpness four will be enough for an ender dragon. Like if we were fighting the wither, I'd probably be wanting more. Not really anywhere to fight a wither on this island, you know? So ender dragon it is, and I think diamond gear should be enough. Now, we should also be thinking about some potions. So that'll make some nice slow falling potions. And I'll add glowstone dust to this potion of strength. And with strength two, this ender dragon doesn't stand a chance. Could also probably do for some more apples of the golden variety. And one really small thing that I've been meaning to get around to, I wanna make this look nice. Yeah, there, we finally have a bit of light in here. 85. And there is our 86, so that, oh, okay, diamonds, nice. I should have seen it coming, but it's just so hype. Okay, day 87, woo, oh, it feels good. I think we're gonna mine out a layer of these three. Okay, I think it's safe to say we have officially peaked in Minecraft. <laughs> this is the um, flex room. I have a lot of diamonds and emeralds now. I think we can use these emeralds to finish out our trading hall. We need a barrel, smoker, cauldron, and stone cutter. We're gonna have to bunk bed it up for these guys. Wow, nice. Finally grab the rest of our beds, and we're just gonna have to wait for a few more villagers. Now, I've actually got a good idea for this room. We're gonna move this. No, we're actually gonna change this quite a bit. We're gonna take out this whole floor. Same goes for all this blue. We're just gonna make this one room and we're gonna cover the ceiling with deep slate. So there's our ceiling. Next, we are finally gonna do something with this. Cool. I would love to do something else, but I just don't think we have the ore for it, sadly. It's a pretty grand looking room though. And maybe this. That is like pretty cool. Let's see what we've got for new items. Blue is 88 and okay, amethyst for 89. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, there is the stronghold. Here is the thought process. This is our treasure room. So we're just gonna make some really aesthetically pleasing stacks in here. Hey, a little 
diamond one on this side. Oh, I like the look of this. What if we, uh... Ooh, man, that's an idea right there. I'm bouncing all over the place, but this is gonna be sick. Yeah, dang, that is a vibe. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll finish up this area with just a bit of gold. Cool, there, that's even better. I'm also gonna make some oxidized cut copper. Get some slabs, make some staircases. I think we're just gonna go ahead and make another roof. I also think it'd be kind of cool if this would just stick out of it. That looks good. Oh yeah, this looks like the interior of a gross swimming pool. I mean, it's something. I don't know if I like it, but it, it's something. Just gotta use the blocks we have, ladies and gentlemen. On the bright side, we got some villagers. First up, we have the fisherman. As always, the worst guy to upgrade. Perhaps this time he will cooperate. Always a guy that takes multiple days to upgrade. Leather worker, usually not a problem. Oh, that's one thing we haven't had this game is the terracotta, but that'll be the master. Fisherman is good to go. That's all we can do today. The shepherd still hasn't upgraded. Oh, we also have the butcher. Another day and our leather worker is looking good. Fisherman is done. There's our butcher. So is that everything? Oh, our farmer, right. Cake! Ha <laughs> ha, beautiful. And actually, we needed that because we want golden carrots for a dragon fight. I'm gonna put a cake on as many floors as I can. You know, just a little snack for getting up these stairs. It's a grueling job. Actually, speaking of grueling jobs, uh, I see it's gonna be like that. I think I'm missing my alchemist. We need one more villager to finish this off. Wow, so overall, like, we are really coming along here. We've got some really weak operations. <laughs> a, quote, home, minor farm, barn for our animals, storage, Nearly complete villager hall, treasure room, enchanting room, popsicle room, cobblestone generator, very aesthetically pleasing floor, and that's probably how I would characterize the rest of this. So what next? We're going to make an aquarium. This floor is really cool. I wanna do something unique with it. So first we're gonna grab all the light blue glass. I genuinely fear that this is not gonna be enough. Oh yeah, no, not enough at all. Wow, this is getting a lot more open. Oh my God, there we go. Also want some regular glass and some fish. So this is gonna be an observable aquarium. We just need to fill this entire area with water. We got fish, yeah, easy. So as we get closer to this, it's gonna get a little tricky, but uh, the same rules still apply. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. Whoa, -ho -ho! okay, I actually have one more idea. A little way to walk in, right? And it's like our little, little entryway. Very cool. So 92, mossy cobblestone, uh, cracked brick next. I think I also want to try making a giant rainbow line down a corner of the island. So we'll just start here and see what happens. So there's orange, yellow, lime green, light blue, blue, purple, magenta, finally pink. Wow, look at that, that worked out. Perfectly. I'm hoping from far away it looks like at least kind of cool. Now, I'm gonna put some art up. Oh yeah, a classic. Maybe uh, yeah, 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 I'll take that. Those are perfect. And lastly, maybe a little something for our floor. Yeah. Now, I was in need of this guy. This is our last villager we need to level up. Oh, such an easy level. And look at that, he gives us bottles of enchanting. Also very good timing for the pearls. Perhaps we should finally go get some more blaze rods. You know, I actually kind of like these colors cause like it gives me an idea of where I am on the island. Like yellow or like top third. I'm gonna make a portal room here, I guess. Yeah. So I'm first looking for a fire potion. That will make two fire potions. Oh, and soul speed three. All right, well, that's gonna be more than enough. Now, hello, my dudes. Perfect. Also, check out how fast I am now. You can't catch me. There's just something so satisfying. So that'll be 12 eyes of Ender. I think I'll start a little to-go bag for all the things we're bringing. I think that's basically everything we'll need. We'll go ahead and take this on down. Okay, that fits perfectly. 91, 92, 93, 94, and... Ran 
random stone is 95. Okay. Oh, man. We're so close. Now, as much as I don't really want to, we got to finish off the elevator. Just kind of annoying because, like, I really like this centerpiece. I think it'd be better to just make this a little elevator. Yeah, that's easy. And, yeah, I think keeping it over here kind of keeps the aesthetic of the room. Now, we just need to finish this section. We'll use one of these. Uh, yeah, I'm content with that. Now, I've also managed to acquire a lot of leather. So we'll put some treasure on display. Sword, axe, bow, and like a shovel and a pick. Okay, that actually looks really cool. We'll put our dragon egg right on there. I won't lie, I'm a little nervous. Like 96 days could all go to waste if we botched this fight. Now, for my next build, I need some glass. Uh, obsidian and some lava. I think I have to do this build here. So you know that super rare structure in Woodland Mansions? So it's basically just a big layer of obsidian and in the middle there's lava and a diamond block. So that's our platform. The diamond block goes there and lava just goes around it. Quickly, I need to place one there, patch that up and boom. That's pretty neat. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the best we're gonna get. Yeah, overall, I would also say this room just looks a lot better now. You know, there's absolutely nothing organized about this room, but I think we've made the most of it. It's just like weird, you know? But at the end of the day, it looks cool, and that's what matters. So 97, 98. Gotta keep that nice staircase going. And for this last day, I'm gonna see if I can get a better sword. Hey, there it is. We'll buy a bottle of enchanting. There it is. Ooh, looting as well. Now, I hate knockback, but I'll take that. That is gonna be one spicy sword. Eight levels just to change the name. Oh my God, I just had a realization. I am almost positive. There was like a TNT floor, wasn't there? Yeah! Why don't we use this against the Ender Dragon? Levers, redstone dust. I think a repeater should help with this as well. It's just about time. Farewell, mistakes were made. Farewell, villagers. Farewell, villagers. Let's get a great sleep tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, day 99. Oh, can this be accessed today or do I have to wait till tomorrow? Oh, this is so weird. Not really quite the, the epic stronghold I was like expecting, but all right, just gotta do a little organization. I think that makes us good. Now, I just hope this works. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Hey, nice spawn. Hello, my friend. And hello, end crystals. Yes. Now let's just try laying down a nice, healthy dose of TNT here. Definitely not the most effective way to kill the Ender Dragon, but it's fun, right? That should be good. Get a little redstone going here. Here we go. Okay, that did not work. Oh, that worked. Yeah! Wow, that was pretty good! That was actually way more damage than I expected. All right, it's coming back down. Pushing his strength. Golden apple. Soften it up a bit. Oh, wow! Doesn't like that. All right, so we'll give it one more. Two more bonks, yeah. Yeah, this is our chance. Here it comes! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Woo! Now there is just one more very important thing we need to do. Subscribe to the channel.